All right, guys, so we just did the video on how do you keep your hands warm in a dry glove. And of course, you guys didn't fail me. You had a lot of great questions come out of that. And the question of today is, should you dive with a seal on your wrist or no seal? Let's discuss. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scooby and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, if you can't tell by the teaser clip, we are actually going to be talking about the wrist seals of your dry suit and whether or not you should still be diving those wrist seals if you're diving a dry glove system. So with that being said, let's jump into today's video and learn about when you should be diving with a seal or when you should actually take your seal out as well. So when you dive a dry suit that has, say, a glove lock system or some type of dry glove system on it, one of the problems that you may find out is if you leave your seal in the wrist itself, when you go to add your glove, there's no way to really manipulate the air that is inside the suit. So as I go under, Boyle's Law tells us as pressure increases, volume decreases, this glove is literally just going to suck to my hand and there's no way to really add air to the system. Well, actually there is. You see, anytime we wear, um, say some type of dry glove system, there are several different mechanisms that we can do or little tools that we can use to keep air flowed into the glove itself. And this little tube that comes with your uh, dry glove system from SciTech is one of the ways to do it. And all we're going to do is just slide it up underneath the seal like that. I call it the Spider-Man wire, if you will, or the Spider-Man webbing. And what I'm going to do is allow it to just barely break this seal here. So now when I add the dry glove, since the seal itself is not perfectly sealed and I put air in the suit, it will allow air to actually travel inside the glove itself. Now there's other ways to do this. You don't necessarily have to have that little tube to do it. Another great option is, is if you wear some type of liner glove, you can allow that liner glove to actually go underneath the seal as well. So you can actually put the glove on before you put your the arm of the suit on. And if that was, imagine if this was say up underneath your seal like that, it's still gonna be broke enough that it allows air to transfer. You could do the exact same thing with your undergarments. If your undergarment had some type of finger or thumb tab, you could actually leave it attached as you put your hand through the seal and that would actually solve the problem of the glove squeeze itself. But let's talk about actually not diving with the seal now and when you would choose to do it. As a public safety and salvage diver, there's a lot of times when I find myself, say, in a quick deploy situation. And quick deploy, that means we have less than five minutes to gear up, get in the water, and take care of the business. Well, if I have to really take the time to get my hand through this seal and then put some type of blocker in there so that it allows air to transfer and then add a glove, I'm actually wasting time doing that. So a lot of times in the public safety field, divers will choose to take the seal out of their wrist seal and leave their gloves permanently attached. Now I'm not actually gonna take mine out to kind of demonstrate that, but imagine if you will, if I have this glove permanently attached to the suit but there's no seal in here. I can very easily dome this suit very quickly. I can just run my arm in it, slide my hand up into the finger or slide my fingers up into the finger slots of the glove and I'm ready to go. I can zip up the suit and go really fast. Now there are some downsides to this method. One, if your glove leaks, your suit is going to leak because you do not have that internal seal of the wrist here to prevent any water from coming in. So that is a major downside, and that's one of the major downsides that people choose not to take the seal out. Now, I've done it both in the past. I've dove without seals. I've dove with seals. I actually prefer to dive with the seal. That way, if my glove leaks, of course, I can still have some type of protection from that water coming in the suit. Um, but let's talk about the leak itself. If you choose to dive with the seals, which is what I would actually suggest you doing, if you dive with some type of blocker in there or any type of device that allows air to flow through, if you have a leak, let's say I'm underwater, I start to feel my hand get wet, and now I start to feel my arm getting wet as well. You're still going to get damp, but it's very easy underwater to disconnect this glove, pop it off, pull this out, now you have a water tube or a watertight seal for your suit, then if you need for that protection of your hand, you can very easily thread the glove back on. And yes, your hand's gonna be wet, but at least the rest 
of your body inside the suit won't because you protected that seal. So whether or not you choose to dive with a seal is completely up to you. Obviously, I'm going to recommend to always dive with it, but there are times in the past where I've actually taken the seal out of my suit for quick deployment. When would I do that? It, very warm, extreme temperate water. I would do that just if I needed to quickly dome that suit really quick. Um, but yeah, it's a choice that you're going to have to make whether you choose to dive with the seal or not. If you choose to dive with the seal, remember, you're going to need something inside of that so that you can transfer air. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this answered some questions about, you know, how do you prevent a glove squeeze on a dry suit that has some type of dry glove system. So if your instructor didn't teach you that during your dry suit course, hopefully this video will definitely help you out. But guys, that's going to do it for today. If you got any more questions on dry suit diving or dry glove systems or anything like that, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer your question the best I can and as quickly as I can. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.